Shalom, D.C. We're the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Started out of 1 West 125th Street, out of Harlem, New York, under command of Jenny Ahana. You understand, we're not affiliated with any Israelite group on the face of the planet Earth. You understand, if it isn't from the ISUPK, it is not of the most high, man. You understand, we out here since 1969, bringing out the truth according to the Bible, giving blacks, natives, and Hispanics the identity according to the Bible, teaching the truth that every single black, native, and Hispanic needs to hear, man. The truth that has been hidden from them for hundreds of years, the truth that has been lied to them for hundreds of years, and it's about time that they actually understood this truth and the purpose of this Bible, man. You understand, the reason why these laws, tax, and commandments was given to black people, man. You understand? It is absolutely vital and it's critical that every single black native and Hispanic gets the truth and man, gets their identity, gets their heritage. You understand? Lawrence, they, they lineage, man. And you're only going to receive that truth from the ISUBK under command of Jenny Ahana, man. Too, many, too much blood has been shed from black people in our neighborhoods and on these streets. Too, many, too much blood has been shed, you understand, because we didn't understand the significance of this Bible. You understand? We don't understand the things that's in this Bible, the law, statute, commandment, is meant to protect, is meant to serve, is meant to, is meant to keep Israel safe. You understand? But you know, because we don't abide by, these, by, by the law, statute, commandment, you understand, we die. We, we are slaughtered, you understand, by, the, by our oppressors. We join our oppressors, you understand, and in the midst of it, we are dying. You understand? We are suffering, we are mourning, man. You understand? The Jews of this Bible are mourning, man. The Jews that's in America and across this earth are mourning, man. You understand? Because we don't understand the purpose of this Bible, man. You understand? We're going to go to Leviticus 26 and 3, man. You understand? Where you at? What's what? Oh, kind of will come. You understand? We got to understand the, the, the law, statute, commandment of this Bible. We got to understand the purpose of this Bible and what it is that it's going to do for us when we follow this Bible, man. You understand? The brother uh, uh, Nathaniel, Nathaniel Woods, man, that's a brother that lost his life. A black man that lost his, that lost his life was put on death row, was sentenced to prison for a murder he didn't commit, man. You understand? For a murder he didn't commit, and after 20-some years of being served in prison, they put him on death row. You understand? And they murdered this man. They took this, this man's life from him. But he's not the first. There's millions, you understand, of black people that they have taken our lives and our time away from our families. You understand? And we die because we didn't understand the, the purpose of this Bible, man, and what it's supposed to do for us, man. You understand? They put that brother on death row. But what about Amber Gaga? Where's her death row? You understand? What about Ronald Reagan? Where's his death row? Where's Donald Trump's death row? What about the police officers that took uh, 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 Eric, uh, Freddie Gray's life from him, man? You understand? Eric Garner's life from him. Where's their death row sentence? You ain't got one. What about the FBI? Where's their death sentence? Where's the CIA's death sentence for all the deaths and the murders that they committed across this earth? You understand? Where's America's death sentence, man? You understand? And, and that's following this Bible. America and our oppressor will receive their death sentence, man. That they, uh, that they rightfully so much deserve, man. The Most High likes to give credit where credit is due. And if we come back to these laws, that's a commandment, he'll do just that, man. We're going to start at Leviticus 26 and 3. Let them know you at. Leviticus chapter 26 and 3. If ye walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and do them. You understand? If we walk in, his, in, in the Most High statutes, and you understand? If we follow his commandments, you understand? The Most High is about to tell us what he would do for us. Drop down to verse 6. Verse 6. And I will give peace in the land. And he shall lie down. Hold on. You will get, and he will do what? <laughs> and I will give peace in the land. You understand? The Most High is going to give peace in the land for, for Israel if we simply follow his law, statute, commandment. He'll give us peace. But if you look around right now, black man, we oppressed, man. We in poverty, man. You understand? We working three, four jobs a day, eating crumbs, being called every byword across the face of the earth. But the Lord said if we listen to him, he going to make peace in the land. Your children won't die at 12 years old. They'll never say to themselves, I don't know if I'll make it to 18. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know if I'm going to make it to 21. You understand? They'll grow up knowing that they can have a, a life. Grow up knowing that they'll have food in their house. You understand? The Lord going to make peace within our land. You understand? Go ahead. And he shall lie down and none shall make you afraid. You understand? We're going to be able to lie down and nobody going to make us afraid. But you look at it right now. Right now, every black man that's in the projects, you understand, that's in the hoods, we can't even go to sleep with both of our, both of our eyes shut, man. We got one eye open because somebody always trying to kill us. Somebody always trying to drug us. Somebody always trying to steal our woman. Somebody always trying to molest our children. We can't sleep comfortably, man, because we don't understand what this Bible is supposed to do for us, man. But the Lord said, read that again. And ye shall lie down, uh -huh. and none shall make you afraid. Go ahead. And I will rid evil beasts out of the land. You understand? And these beasts, man, these beasts are these wicked nations, man. These other nations. The Lord said if you follow him, if you listen to him, he'll rid these evil beasts out of the land. 
You don't have to worry about some white devil coming to slaughter you in your own house. You gotta worry about some oppressor whipping you with some whip. You understand? Locking you up behind bars, putting some handcuffs tighter than they supposed to be on your wrist, man. You don't, have to, you don't have to worry about these things, man, because the Lord is going to roll with you, man. Go ahead. Neither shall the sword go through your land. You understand? And neither shall the sword, the sword go, through that, uh, go through our lands, man. And what's, this, what's the modern-day sword? You understand? That, that, that their gun that they don't know how to use. They firing it off like it's, a, like it's a goddamn Nerf gun, and they taking blood from us. You understand? But the Lord said if we listen to him, they can't shoot it. They're not going to shoot us like that. They're not going to hang us like they do. They're not going to oppress us like they do. Not because they don't want to, but because we rolling with the Lord, the Lord going to look out for us, man. Go ahead. And you shall chase your enemies, and they shall fall before they shall fall before you by the sword. You understand? And right now, there's a time and place for everything, you understand? When Christ comes back, there's going to be a more, a more vicious, a more violent sword. But right now, the sword that we need to use is this Bible, man. You understand? The white man didn't give us these Bible, man. Our forefathers did, man. A black man gave you this Bible, man. It's rules in this Bible. You understand? It's morals that's in this Bible, man. Something that's going to save you. Something that's going to make sure that your brother isn't taken from you. Your sister isn't taken from you. Your daughter isn't raped. Something that's going to make sure you're not getting high. Selling your soul to America, man. A place that absolutely hates every black man's guts, man. Go ahead. And five of you shall chase in hundred, uh -huh. and in hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight. You understand? The Lord gonna be rolling with us because if we follow Him, five of us gonna be able to put a hundred to sleep, man. A hundred of us gonna be able to put a hundred thousand to rest, man. Why? Because the Lord is with us. It ain't the amount of number, the amount of strength, man. But if you rolling with the Lord, you got all the strength that you need, man. If you rolling with the ICBK, you got all the strength that you need, man. You gotta build this body in one body, man. Go ahead. And your enemies shall fall before you by the sword. And your enemies shall fall, uh, shall fall beside you by the sword, man. Your enemies going to fall, man. You come in here, you pick up this sword right here, you're going to see your enemies fall. You're going to see the Lord put diseases, put corona, Ebola, and all these other diseases on the face of the earth to plague these other nations, man. If you simply just come back to these laws that you command. That's the purpose of this Bible, man. To protect you, man. To put you over top of these other nations, man. Go ahead. For I will have respect unto you. Hold on. The Lord said if we follow him, he'll have respect unto us, man. That's what following the Lord's statute of commandments is going to get. It'll, it'll, it'll get the Lord's respect, man. So do you want, do you want the respect of some, of, some, of, of some oppressor that doesn't give a damn about you? Or do you want the Lord's respect, man? Go ahead. And make you fruitful and multiply you. And, yeah. and establish my covenant with you. You understand? The Lord said if we follow him, you understand? He's going to make us fruitful, man. If you want kids, if you want to see your nation grow, you simply just got to get in line. You simply just got to get in line in the ISBK. You simply just got to join the body, get on the team, roll with us. Because if we ride with the Most High, He's going to ride with us. If we have His back and we stand firm on His word, you understand? He's going to make sure He take care of us. The Lord said He's going to establish His covenant with us. You understand? But if you don't believe me, go ahead. And you shall eat old store. And bring forth the old because of the new. Uh -huh. And I will set my tabernacle among you. Go ahead. And my soul shall not abhor you. you understand? If we follow the most high, his soul is not going to abhor us, man. He not, uh, his soul is not going to hate us, man. His soul is going to be for us if we do not, uh, 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 if we stand by his law, statute, and commandment, man. Go ahead. And I will walk among you and will be your God. And I will, and I will walk among who? Among you. Go ahead. And be and will be your God, uh -huh. and ye shall be my people. You understand? And ye shall be my people, man. This is directed but towards a certain set of people. He said he will be your God. You understand? And we will be his people, his children. Go ahead. I am the Lord your God, uh -huh. which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt. Now, did everybody come out of the land of Egypt, or just not, or just not blacks and the Spanish? You understand? Just not Israel, or did everybody come out of Egypt, man? This verse right here, stop on the top. Say, uh, uh, stop on the top. Let him know who you are. Leviticus 25 and 13. Leviticus 26 and 13. I have the Lord your God which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt. You understand? He said, I'm the Lord your God which brought you forth out of Egypt. He is the God of Israel, man. You understand? He's our father, man. We his chosen people, man. That's what understanding this Bible is going to do for you. You understand? Go ahead. That he should not be their bondman. And I have broken the bonds of your yoke and made you and made you go upright. You understand? The Lord took us out of bondage underneath Egypt, man. 
out of bondage underneath Pharaoh, man. You understand? And he made us upright. He gave us a law, man. You understand? He chose us. He stuck with us. You understand? He gonna ride for us, man. Go ahead. But if he will not hearken unto me, right? But if we don't listen to the Most High, he's also gonna do something. He's gonna do something that any father or any parent that cares about his children would do. You understand? If we decide not to listen to these laws, statutes, commandments, if we decide to disregard, you understand, the purpose and the significance of this Bible and what it is that this Bible could do for us and the truth of this Bible, what it could do for us, no sweat. The Lord said he's going to do something too. Go ahead. And will not do all these commandments, and if ye shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgments... Oh, no, go back to 14. But if ye will not hearken unto me, and will not do all these commandments... But if ye will not hearken unto me, and do all these commandments... You understand? If we don't listen to the and we don't listen to the word that the Most High gave to Israel, gave to black people. You understand? If we don't listen to it, go ahead. And if and if and if ye shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgments, and if ye shall despise my statutes and your soul abhor my judgments, if you hate the Most High statutes, if you hate him for telling you not to sleep with your brother's wife, if he if you hate him and his statutes for telling you that sex is marriage. If you hate him for telling you, you can't celebrate your birthday, you can't get high, you understand? You can't hate your own people. If you hate him for telling you to support black businesses, if you hate him for, for telling you to love your own, no sweat. The most I'm going to do something for you. Go ahead. So that ye will not do all my commandments, uh -huh. but that ye break my covenant. Go ahead. I will also do this unto you. Uh -huh. I, will cons I will even appoint over you terror consumption. I will also do this unto you. I will even appoint you, point over you terror. You understand? If we don't listen to the Most High, no sweat. He gonna appoint over us terror, man. He gonna put our enemies over top of us, man. And any enemy that becomes your leader, what are they gonna do? They're gonna destroy you. They're gonna commit, they're gonna make chaos in your neighborhoods. They're gonna gentrify your cities. They're gonna make you put on gay clothing, homosexual clothing. They're gonna make you sell drugs to your own people. They're going to make you worship their religions and their gods. They're going to make you join them and separate from your own. When you're supposed to be separating from them, man, the Lord is going to put a terror over us if we don't listen to him. He just said it. So what is this Christian God that the Christian church teaches you about? They don't tell you that he's a father. He's going to do the absolute duty of a father. Go ahead. Consumption uh -huh. and the burning of you that shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart. And the burden of, of, of you, you understand? That's like a fever or an illness. What are, the, what are some of the illnesses that the Lord has given Israel, given black people? High blood pressure, diabetes. That's, a, some, that's something right there, uh, 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 an example of, of, of a you. Go ahead. And ye shall sow your seed in vain, uh -huh. for your enemies shall eat it. Uh -huh. And I will set my face against you. You understand the Most High? We don't understand the purpose of this Bible. If we disregard the laws and the royal culture that the Most High gave to us, the royal, the royal lineage that runs through our blood, man, the Lord is going to turn his faith against us, man. That got to hit your heart to understand that your father is going to turn and look away when you decide to disregard him, man. When you decide to go against the Most High, your father, you decide to be a rebellious child, man, because you don't want to accept the laws that your commandments, man. You understand something? When you come into the truth and you actually are taught the correct, the correctness of this Bible, man, you're going to understand why it is that he gave us these laws. You're going to understand why he told you, you understand, to love your brother as yourself, man. He gave this to us. He gave this to black people, Hispanics and Native American Indians. He gave that to everybody that's here on this 12 tribe chart. To love your brother as yourself, man. You understand? To separate from these other nations, man. Go ahead. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. You understand? And ye shall be slain before your enemies, man. The Most High is going to turn his face away from us. And in the midst of that, we're going to be slain by our enemies. You understand? Both in John, Atatiana Jefferson. You understand? Uh, uh, Nath uh, Nathaniel. You understand? Eric Garner, Freddie Gray, Sandra Bland, Trayvon Martin. Our enemies are going to sit here and slay us day in and day out. You understand? Because we decided to separate ourselves from the Lord. Because we didn't, we didn't understand the importance of this Bible, man. We didn't understand what the Lord was trying to tell us, man. And I blame that on the Christian church. I blame that on all these religion. I blame that on the, all these drug dealing rappers and, and, and revolutionary, so-called revolutionary rappers that think they know something, man. You understand? The fate of Israel cannot be, cannot be in their hands, man. It got to be in a righteous man's hands, man. Go ahead. 
And they that hate you shall reign over you. You understand that they that hate you shall reign over you. Who is over top of us right now? Who is telling LeBron James to shut his mouth and to keep dribbling the basketball? Who is telling your son, who is telling the mother's uh, children that uh, sons are bees, man? You understand? Who is molesting our children, man? Who is, who is kidnapping our woman? Who is making our sons 12 years old think that they're born with testicles but think that they're a woman? Who is the ones that are doing this to us, man? Of people that reign over us that absolutely hate us. And people that do not want black people to come together. And people that do not want black people to come out of the oppression that they are in. And people that want you to stay destroyed. And people that want you to stay uh, uh, with an identity that is not yours. And you forever clinch on to them and not clinch on to what it is your forefathers left you, man. Read on. And ye shall flee when none pursueth you. And if ye will not, and ye will, and if ye will not for all this hearken up to, unto me, then I will punish you seven times more for your sin. You understand? And sin is the trans transgression of the law. And because we want to ignore his law, no sweat. He gonna punish us seven times more. He gonna punish us seven times more because he told you so. He brought you out of bondage in Egypt. You understand? And we don't understand that we, if we come back to the culture of this Bible, if we come back and we understand the purpose and the significance of it, guess what? The Lord is gonna, he, the Lord is gonna hear our cry out to Him. He gonna hear that blood shed. You understand? And He gonna make something happen, man. That'll make Him wanna send back His Son and His army to come down and rain judgment upon America, man. That is what uh, coming back to this Bible is gonna do. That's what understanding these laws is gonna do for you, man. It's gonna protect you, man. It's gonna be a defense system for you, man. Where you at? And I will break the pride of your power, and I will make your heaven as iron and your earth as brass. It's going to be hard, man. Our kingdom going to be as iron, man. You understand? And our heaven is going to be as brass. It's going to be a low state, man, if we decide to go against what the Most High told us to do, man. You understand? The Lord said he would turn his face away from us, man, and our enemies will be over top of us. This book was written again uh, thousands of years ago, man. Our law, statute, commandment was written thousands of years ago. And look what it's saying, man. Do our enemies not reign over us? Do we not look to them for everything? Water, home, whatever the case may be. Do we not have to give them everything that we got in our pockets, man? Do we not have to work two, three, four jobs, 24 hours a day on our feet, breaking our back, our feet sweating, our children never get to see us? We locked up two million in their prison systems. Do our enemies not reign over top of us, man? It is absolutely significant to understand what this Bible is telling us to do, man. It's absolutely significant that we come back to our culture and we understand our lineage, man. And we understand our, what it is our forefathers was leaving for us, man. We you want? Go ahead. And your strength shall be spent in vain. And our strength shall be spent in vain, man. Vain, nothing. We work in building up a kingdom that ain't ours. We building skyscrapers that ain't ours. We building roads and streets that ain't ours. We building stores that ain't ours. You understand? We working 12 hours a day and spending our money in some Chinese restaurant. You understand? Building up their businesses that ain't ours. You understand? What is ours has been taken from us, man. The scripture said we spend our strength in vain, man. Go ahead. And your land shall not yield her increase. Neither shall the trees of the land yield their fruits. And if ye walk contrary unto me, and will not hearken unto me, I will bring seven times more plagues upon you according to your sin. The Lord said if we do not hearken unto him, he going to bring seven times more of these plagues, man. The bloodshed is going to increase, man. You're going you're gonna to think that you want to go back to a motherland that ain't the motherland. You understand? You're going to want to accept You're gonna accept the culture that's not your culture, man, because you don't want to hearken unto the Most High, no sweat. He going to increase these by words. You're not just about to be called a monkey, a spit, a wetback, a nigga, a negro, you understand, a, 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 a colored person. You're going to be called every word in the book and then some because you don't want to hearken unto the Most High, man. You don't want to accept the name that he gave you. You don't want to accept the laws that he gave you, which are absolutely righteous, man. Coming into the truth, man, when I came into the truth, man, and I read this Bible and I was taught this Bible, you understand? I understood why it is that he gave us these things. These laws fit exactly what is plaguing us, man. These laws fit exactly what it is that's going on to this day and been going on for the last 400 plus years. This book tells you not to be religious and look how religion destroys us, man. Look how children get molested in the Christian church and the Catholic church. 
Look how we celebrate our, our enemies' holidays and in the, in the history and the origin of them holidays was something that is meant that our God told us not to follow. You understand? When you come into this truth, you're going to understand why this, he told you not to do these things. Why he told you not to get high. Look at how what getting high does for us, man. Look at how getting high leads us to death. Look at how when we celebrate Valentine's Day and we don't get our woman what they need or what they're asking for, look at how they go get it from another man. Look at how, look at how we are so destroyed because we just don't follow this Bible, man. It don't make no sense. You got more? 22. Let's go ahead. And I will also send wild beasts among you, uh -huh. which shall rob you of your children. And the Lord is going to send wild beasts among you that are going to rob you of your children. That are going to push you to go into these, these abortion clinics. That are going to tell our young sisters, open your legs, but when you get pregnant, come on down to the abortion clinics because your career means more. Come on, give me your child. Come on and spill that blood. Go on and commit murder so you can have that wealthy job. So you can marry some white man, some white devil that hates your people, man. How does that even work? I know any brother that gets some, some devil, some white woman, when their families meet, it is the most awkwardest thing in the living room. It is the most awkwardest thing. They, man, they're like, who is this? The wife, that, that look, the oppressor, they looking at, they looking at the brother like, I know you didn't. And the, and the, and the black brother's family looking at, the, looking at this white woman like, you did not. He done bought a piece of white flesh up in here and, and knowing damn well that that don't go up in here. It's, uh, it's awkward. It don't even make no sense. You understand? The Lord said he's going to send wild beasts amongst us, man. Wild beasts amongst us because we don't want to hearken unto him. Because we don't want to listen. Because we want to be hard-headed. Because we want to be stiff-necked. And because we think we know what's best for us, no sweat. The Lord going to send these beasts, these other nations, to reign over us. And guess what? As I said earlier, these other nations hate you, man. And because we don't understand the purpose of this Bible, they hate, this perpetual hate that they have, that shit is going to reign over you, man. Salaki. It's going to reign over you. It's going to rule over you. It's going to make you cry yourself to sleep every single night. Because nobody is coming to save you. Because nobody cares about the condition of black people. Because the neighborhood is destroyed. Read on. And destroy your cattle. And make, your, and make, your num and make you in numbers. And make you few in number, man. He gonna do everything to kill you. He gonna put drugs in your neighborhood to kill you. He gonna oppress the young sisters to go and commit abortion. He gonna oppress the brother to be taken out the black household, so it's gonna lead him to death. Every single thing that America has made you see is supposed to make you thrive, or that you got a, a little slice out of the pie. You understand? You got a spot in the music industry. You got a, you got your darkness license, whatever the case may be. All of that is meant to make you is meant to push you to get, uh, uh, to commit in death or murder or dying in some form or fashion. Ain't no wrong with becoming a doctor, but joining America and becoming a doctor is two different things, man. You understand? Where you at? You got a little bit more? No. And your highways shall be desolate. And your highways shall be desolate, man. Your streets, your neighborhoods, it's going to be desolate. It's going to be destroyed. You understand? You can't walk up and down the street without, having, without looking over your shoulder because you don't know who's trying to harm you. Every moment a black man walk out the door, he think he already know it's war. He already know somebody after his neck. But he don't know the main person that's after his neck is our oppressor. He think it's his brother. When the main one that wants you, that wants this little feud to go down, is the man sitting in the seat. The man with the suit and tie. You understand? It's the nation, it's the nation that's sitting back and watching you destroy yourselves. That's who your enemy is. That's who's trying to hit that link on you, man. You understand?